Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Thanks so much for joining me again today on my channel. I'm back again with another 10 cards, one kit video featuring the Spellbinders card making kit of the month. This month for September, the kit is named Express Yourself. I'm going to start off by unboxing the kit as I usually do. And you can see that it's always packed so nicely. It's like you're opening a little present for yourself every month. It's so nice. Uh, so the first thing that you'll see is the 10 card bases and 10 envelopes that you get included in the kit. It's so great to get these in the kit because then you don't have to go into your own stash to make all of these card bases and it's just right in there for you. So that's really nice. We also have these gem embellishments that have sort of like gold brushing on top, which are really beautiful. And then we've got the add-on stamp set. This is also called Express Yourself. The stamp set to add on is just $5, so it's really nice to be able to add these things on in a, uh, an affordable way. And this is a really great sentiment set that you can use all the time. I'm now going to pull out just this piece from the die set that you get. This will make a letter board and I just wanted to show you that you don't get individual letters, you get them sort of grouped together in these like small groups of letters so that you don't have to put through the same letter so many times or you know you can get all of the alphabet in one go through and then just do it all over again if you need another one so it's really nice. We also have the scoring tape and foam squares that they include in the set or in the kit. And then you have the six by six paper pack. This paper pack is an add on also $5, but I really think that it's such a necessity to these sets and these kits because they're always so beautiful. I am not a pattern paper person. I'm not somebody who buys a ton of pattern paper, but they are always on point with their designs and I use them so much that I absolutely think that it's a necessity. I'm now just pulling out some of these die cuts and I go back to these die cuts all the time in my 10 cards, one kit videos because they're so versatile and I can use them across all of my cards. And then we've got a chipboard sticker set and it's got two actually like front and back of this set. So we have a few sentiments and then a couple of the images that I'll use as well. Now you can see underneath there, we've got lots of cardstock and I can never use all the cardstock that they give me. So I am just blessed with all of this wonderful cardstock all the time from the Spellbinders kits. And they are always beautiful. And you always seem to get like a metallic uh, or mirror piece of cardstock in there, which is great to have. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I'll just show you here how I am going to put together our letter board from the die set that we get. So you can see that I've cut two pieces from the from both of the side panels there and then you'll need six pieces of cardstock cut from that rectangular piece which is actually going to be the board itself. I'm then going to go ahead and show you this tiny little piece next and it's just got like four really small rectangular pieces and these are actually for the corners so if you can think of like a frame there's always sort of somewhere that the corners meet and that's where this is. One thing about Spellbinders dies is that they do not skip on any detail and it's so great when it all comes together at the end because you need it. Here is what I was talking about before you get all of this like punctuation and all the letters in little sets so you can send it all through the die machine, die cutting machine at the same time. So now I'm going to start assembling. What I'm going to do is do this on top of a piece of white cardstock and then I'm just going to use a paper trimmer and an X-Acto knife to cut the frame out later. You could absolutely do this in a way where you don't have to use the X-Acto knife and you'll see that I put the frame together first. If you put the uh, board together first, with, which are those blue pieces of cardstock, the six going down, you'll just need to trim around it. You won't need to um, trim the inside, but I did the frame first because I really wasn't thinking ahead. And then I go ahead and put my board pieces and adhere it to the back, which you'll see in just a minute, which is an absolutely fine way to do it. Um, however, if you did the board pieces first, you wouldn't need to cut out the middle with an X-Acto knife. So that would sort of save you that step there. 
So um, now I'm just putting all of those board pieces on the back and I just use that scoring tape to adhere it there just to the very edges. And you'll see in just a minute when I turn it around, I get this really beautiful letter board and then I can sort of just make any sentiment I want and it will be the absolute focal point of the card because this is an almost um, the entire front of an A2 size card. So I went ahead and looked up some flower uh, quotes and I found earth laughs in flowers and I thought that that was really cute. There's a lot of really pretty watercolor floral images in the die cut uh, pack and then there's this sort of coordinating piece of pattern paper in the pattern paper six by six pad and so I wanted to incorporate them together and I wanted it to be with the letter board and to have sort of like a coordinating sentiment. So that's where I found Earth Laughs and Flowers. And I just thought, I thought it was really cute. And it's really good for just an everyday card if you just want to send somebody something just to make them smile. I think it's a really nice way to do that. So I just went ahead and added some of those die cut pieces there to the bottom left hand corner and I trimmed that piece of pattern paper down to four by five and a quarter which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card and then adhered that with foam tape to an A2 size card base that's included in the kit. This next card is probably one of my favorites that I've made maybe ever in 10 cards one kit videos. Um, I'm going to create a window scene so you get this window in the die cut uh, pack and you also obviously get all of these this stars and the moons and these little leaves and branches so I thought it would be really fun if I created this outdoor scene but just like you're peering through a window. So I'm going ahead and sort of making my scene so I'm using that dark blue uh, cardstock that we saw earlier for my sky and I'm bringing in some stars with a white gel pen as well just because I want to really light up that sky and just to be sure that when you look at it you know that it's outside and it's a night sky and I thought that this would actually be a really great um, sympathy card just because it looks really calming and I really love the way that it came that it came out. I think sympathy cards are best left just really simple and not too overstated. So I really liked the way that this one came out. This particular kit is also really good for masculine cards, which I sometimes struggle with. But it's got this really cool flannel, um, or two actually, two different uh, patterns of flannel pattern paper. And then this fun car die cut that um, is actually kind of pretty. I I have a tough time really loving like car related stamps or anything like that but this one actually I really liked. Um, so I just used the gold mirror um, hello die cut that you get in the die cut set and then also the car. I adhered the hello to the card front with glue just so it was flat on there and then I used foam tape for that top sentiment that says no other dad like you and then for the car as well and I just think this makes a really nice it could even be a birthday card or a hello card for for your dad and I thought that was really cute. This next card created a little controversy between me and a couple of my card making friends because I really love it and they were making fun of the bugs, but they're really pretty bugs. I really like these butterflies. Obviously, they're gorgeous, but these beetles too are really pretty. They're like gold and pink, and I am not a like a beetle bug fan, but um, I really like the way that these looked, especially together. So I'm going to make this just an everyday card, and I'm using the amazing stamp. If you've watched any of my 10 cards, one kit videos, you'll know that I don't always go back to the stamp set so often and I'm doing that a lot in this video because the stamp set is so great. I love this font. I love that it's thin but it's legible and I would absolutely recommend grabbing this stamp set. It's definitely something that you should have in your stash because you can use it across the board literally for any project that you need or any card that you need. Uh, this stamp set is the way to go. And at $5, you really can't beat it for the add-on. So I've taken this gray piece of cardstock, and it's a really, really smooth piece of cardstock. 
I've prepped it with a powder tool and now I am putting some embossing powder, just white embossing powder over it. And I'm actually putting it back in my Misty because I stamp one other sentiment that says you are so right on top of it. And that just creates the sentiment. You are so amazing. I go ahead and set that with my heat tool. And now I'm going to adhere my bugs to the card front. So for the butterflies, I want to make sure that I can kind of flap up those wings and make them look even more three-dimensional than they already will with the foam tape. So I just put it on the center and I'll press it down and make sure that I sort of curl up those wings so that you can really see the shadow underneath. I think this card is so pretty and I really love it for a hello card for a friend. They might be like, why are you sending me bugs? But then they'll be like, wow, this is really pretty. So that's great. This next card is really simple to put together and actually uses some of the chipboard stickers as sentiments rather than stamping. And I really love that because it gives that little bit of dimension without actually having to use any of the foam tape. So that's nice. I'm going to use this really gorgeous uh, gold foil and white lacy doily. And I'm adhering a sentiment circle from the die cuts uh, pack and it says, I love you every day. I'm going to adhere that with glue so that it sits flat on that doily and then adhere the doily to this piece of pink cardstock that was included in the set. I've cut it down to four by five and a quarter, just slightly smaller than an A2 size card. And then for the sentiments, I'm using these little pieces of chipboard uh, stickers and it says timeless and grateful and then I go ahead and adhere that to an A2 size card base that's included in the kit. I didn't get a picture of this one for some reason I must have forgotten so I do apologize for that. It will be over on my Instagram if you're interested. For card number six, we're keeping it really simple again and I'm just using some of the die cuts from the pack. I told you guys I go back to this die cut pack so many times because they're so pretty and they really pick such a great selection that you can get lots of use out of. So I'm going to make this sort of like a home or a welcome home or congratulations on your new home card. That was sort of where my vibe was going. So I'm creating this background of flowers that I'm going to adhere with glue to this dark blue cardstock. I think I used every inch of this dark blue cardstock. It is so gorgeous. And then I just put the house die cut that says home is where you are right on top of that with foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. I then added just a few chipboard stickers because I thought the colors went well. Honestly, that's the reason that I did it and I called it a day. I really love that card. This next card is another sort of any day card that you could just send to anybody. I love this pattern paper uh, piece here. It's like this really weathered ship lap. I went ahead and added an, the second hello die cut. Now, what you might not know is that in the die cut pack, you get two of every single die cut. So I've got another hello die cut that I've added with glue. I also added the memory lane sentiment uh, die cut with glue and then the truck chipboard sticker, which I think just fits on there so well. And I thought that was so pretty. My next card uses again, another, um, letter board, but this one is actually a die cut piece that was included in the die cut pack. This really gorgeous white flower with the dark green background, uh, pattern paper is from the set. And I've just added this, I'm not sure if that's like a water lily or what it is, that flower in the back there, but it's white with gold um, embellishments around it. And then some leaves. And then I just added the always have courage and be kind letter board die cut piece to the center with foam tape. And I think this is just, a, an, again, a nice hello card or an encouragement card that you can use for anybody. I think it looks really pretty. My next card, which is card number nine, I believe, um, took a little bit of envisioning and I sort of took a chance on it. So this jar here is included in the die cut pack, but it is a full jar. So I took my X-Acto knife and cut out a bit of the top and the bottom so that it looked like a clear jar with maybe like a label across the front of it. And I wanted to put these little die cut pieces in here so that it looked like a jar that was sort of filled with these fresh cut flowers. And I added the for you sentiment, which is in the 
uh, included in the stamp add-on. And then I realized I needed it to be translucent, not completely see-through. So I went ahead and added this or adhered the jar itself to a piece of vellum. And this is a Catherine Pooler vellum. It's linked in the description if you're interested. And then I just cut around the uh, jar so that I have this appearance that the jar is translucent instead of completely transparent so that you can still see the stems in there, uh, but they're not like jumping out at you. And then I added the thanks sentiment and I used some Altenew gold metallic ink for that. And this dark red, sort of like this cranberry cardstock is another one of my favorites. And I was really happy to use all of those gold accents on that. Card number 10 is just, again, another everyday card. I went ahead really quickly because I just used a bunch of die cuts and this one chipboard sticker, the frame there, and that's that's it. It says celebrate this day. And again, another everyday card. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I used the kit in a way that I could make 10 cards. Uh, there's lots more that can be made. And if you're interested, I will have a little video over on my Instagram, just showing you exactly how much I have left of the kits after I make these 10 cards, because I think it will surprise you. As always, the links to everything are in my description, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.